motorsports fan, Lee Craft here, the Monday Morning Racer. I want to give you three quick and important announcements concerning drag racing, sponsorship, and winter content right here on Monday Morning Racer. That's next. <laughs> Alright fans, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great and one of the reasons why I'm doing great is because I am this weekend going to be at the Auto Club NHRA Finals in Pomona, California at the Fairplex Dragway. Looking forward to being there. I've never been to P Pomona before. Marking another crown jewel event off the list out of the what will be eight national events I've been able to be at this year. For the last two national events that I was at, I was able to work with some funny car teams and get some behind the scenes, some undercover footage. Again, thank you to Paul Weiss Racing and the New Englander. Also, Paul Richards Racing and their strutmasters.com sponsored funny car for allowing me to have that behind the scenes look and have the great access that I was able to get. You can find one of those videos linked at the end of this video, but for Pomona, what I'm looking for, I hope to be able to find a top fuel team to work alongside with and get another undercover video with the particulars of a top fuel dragster. Yes, the combinations are very similar in funny car and top fuel, but obviously you've got a longer wheelbase, you've got the wings, canopy, no canopy, and find out what are the particular differences of a top fuel dragster compared to a funny car and get that undercover look. So I'm going to be on the outlook for that team. Definitely I'll be getting interviews with pro drivers, hopefully the champions of the NHRA here for 2019. So, drop some questions there in the comment section and let me know who would you might like me to talk to and interview? What are some questions that you would like to have answered from those that compete regularly in the world of NHRA drag racing? Also, in the comment section, drop who do you think is going to win in each particular class the championship? Do you think it's going to be Jack Beckman, Robert Height? Do you think it's going to be Erica Enders? Do you think it's going to be Brittany Force or Steve Torrance? Who do you think is going to win in their respective class the championship? Let me know your thoughts as I head to Pomona this weekend. Now on to the second announcement. I'm excited to let you know that Monday Morning Racer has picked up its first sponsor for this channel in the short history of MMR being on YouTube. This first sponsor is Hero Soap Company. Now, Hero Soap Company, they produce some fine soaps. These soaps are infused with essential oils. They're all natural. This company is veteran-owned, and some of the profits from what they make goes back to veteran groups to help support veterans. Also, you can directly help Monday Morning Racer as I go out and get motorsports content by using the promo code MMR and getting 10% off their subscription. I get a kickback for that. So, you will find in the description box below a link that will take you to Hero Soap Company and you can see the products they have. Use the promo code MMR, get 10% off the subscription, and you help Monday Morning Racer continue to get great motorsports action. Let me tell you, I'm excited to be partnered with them because they do produce some great soap. I got my soap today. I was excited to get my soap today. I've been out plowing and shoveling snow, snow all day. I live just outside of Rochester, New York, and we got a good amount of snow over last night. And I came home. I definitely wanted to take a shower. I saw the soap came in the mail. I got the peppermint cool. The owner of Hero Soap Company told me that you should feel like you're on top of a mountain naked. And he was right. Something I noticed about this soap, even though I've used nice soaps before like Duke Cannon and other essential oil infused soaps, this soap from Hero Soap Company, it made the shower very invigorating. You had the warmth of the water and yet it, you had the, the coolness of the peppermint, the peppermint cool. It made showering great. And I am definitely looking forward to showering again. 
the best way I can describe it is if you're chewing winter mint gum and you open your mouth and you inhale and you get that blast of coolness, that's what it was like throughout the shower and getting out of the shower after using Hero Soap. So definitely check out Hero Soap Company. Get yourself some fine soaps, 10% off using the MMR promo code for the subscription and they've got many other options beyond the peppermint cool check them out now for my last announcement it's certainly not the least of my announcements first there's been a couple of questions that have been thrown at me here recently and i want to answer them one monday morning racer when are you going to do some more nascar videos and monday morning racer what are you going to be filming with it being winter now and racing slowing down? So, with the NASCAR videos, yes, it is my intention to film more NASCAR type videos as the ones that I did when I first started this channel. Videos such as, do all petty wins count? Is Kyle Busch the greatest driver ever? The in trouble concerning Nashville Fairground Speedway. Yes, I want to get back to those type of videos. But I'm not going to get away from filming live races. I will continue to do that. I had an opportunity to do it, and more opportunity opened up, and I have loved doing it. I used to race junior dragsters. I have a desire to even be racing now. I just don't have the funds to do it. So being at the track, being near the cars as they're racing and filming and having access to drivers and talking to them has been so much fun. And I feel like a lot of people have enjoyed me bringing that type of content as well. So it's definitely going to continue to be a part of Monday Morning Racer. But, yes, I do intend to get back to doing NASCAR commentary type of films. I just want to do them at a high quality, or at least at the highest quality that I can do them. There's a lot of NASCAR YouTubers out there. They will take screen-captured footage, put a lot of clips together, and then just commentate over the clips put together. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't want that really to be my style. I want to get original content with original stories and give my thoughts with what I've captured on NASCAR type of commentary for that sport. For example, an upcoming video that I want to do, I've got to find some key people, get interviews, put everything together, is when NASCAR went drag racing. There was a period that NASCAR did sanction drag races just like the NHRA. In fact, it was very popular in the Northeast. Just about an hour and a half west of me in the city of Niagara, New York, there was Niagara Drag Strip, which was, at a time, a NASCAR-sanctioned drag strip. So I want to bring that type of story with interviews with imagery from that period talking to the people who were involved and not just YouTube screen captured videos strung together. I hope to bring you high quality NASCAR commentary videos. On other content in winter concerning racing. Yes, I intend to actually still capture racing. Being in upstate New York, there's going to be snowmobile racing. I intend to go out and capture some snowmobile drags, hill climbs, and even oval racing. But concerning winter content, what I'm most excited about for winter content, I'm going to be bringing you a series of videos that are shop tours. Yes, we're going to go inside race shops, inside restoration shops, and talk to some drivers, talk to some restorers, get car profiles on this channel for you to enjoy. I've already got lined up one top fuel team, a street outlaw type of drag race team here locally in Buffalo, and one restoration shop just outside of Buffalo, New York. I'm looking forward to getting in the shops. I was a shop kid, love being in the shop. I also have a background in welding, enjoyed welding and working in the shop. So I'm looking forward to getting back there and giving you some inside glimpse. Get some good racing stories, get some good car stories. I know people on this channel are definitely going to enjoy that. Hey look, in the comment section below, Take a crack and guess which top fuel team I've got access with to go inside their shop, speak with the driver, see the car, and bring it all to you. You just might win a prize if you guess the right team.
Well, I'm looking forward to what's coming for Monday Morning Racer. Guys, thank you. Over 600 subscribers. I want to get to 1,000 as quickly as possible. If you don't know, it's very important for people to subscribe to a YouTube channel. When you hit 1,000 subscribers and have over 4,000 watch hours, YouTube will review your channel and see if you can be monetized and you can begin to make some money from your videos with having ads connected to them. Well, I've got well over the 4,000 watch hours. I just need more subscribers. So if you're seeing this and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Matter of fact, if you're subscribed, not subscribed, Subscribe and or plus hit that bell icon so you will know when content from Monday Morning Racer comes out. So again, leave me some questions for Pomona. Go get you some fine soap that's made right here in the United States of America by a veteran-owned company helping veterans that will also help Monday Morning Racer when you use the promo code MMR. And you can find that link in the description of this video. Also... Tell me what you're looking forward to with the winter content from Monday Morning Racer and take a crack and see if you can guess the right top fuel team that I will be touring their shop. Guys, thank you for being fans of Monday Morning Racer. And until next time, God bless you and keep the pedal to the metal.